Good evening, everybody. And we are back to the chonkening. Oh, what did we do last time? Right, I was running around the city, and we had gotten... Jerky, I believe I named him? Yes. Okay. Eviolite... What do I have on you? Sorry, it's been a little bit. And... Amulet coin, okay. Alright. Um... It's going to be hard to train jerky because there's a lot of grass types and bug types in the previous route. I think I'm going to have to do a lot of switch training for him, which is what I'm going to be going to do. Uh, hmm. What ground types on the route ahead? No one has anything that would be good. Uh, pizza. Ground and rock types are usually heavier, so I could probably do that. Okay. You know what? I'll do some switch training on the route ahead. I Because I do want to get Jerky up some levels. I don't think I could get him to evolve just yet. I also really hope, really hope I am lucky with a Darmanitan. Uh, oh wait, yeah, what is uh, Jerky's ability? Intimidate, okay. I'm not fighting those guys. Uh, I mean, Jelly Bean could probably handle them. Mm. I really don't want to fight any trainers right now. Aramaka! Uh, I am still going to switch here. Because... They're both level 16, so... Hmm. Meatball should be able to take care of it. It's just a fire type, I believe. Until it, uh, changes form, but that would be when it evolves if it has its hidden ability. Which is what I really hope to get with it. <clears throat> You're a dark type, right? Yeah. That or it's dark normal. I was doing a normal Nuzlocke for this. Mm. I clicked the wrong one. I clicked Seismic Toss instead of Vital Throw. Jerky, how close are you to a level up? Not very. You're like halfway. Hmm. 
So a lot of the stream will still be the, um... It's kind of why I have it sped up. A lot of the stream will be... Probably just me grinding out jerky some levels. Uh, all the rest of my Pokemon sh should be of level to fight the gym that's up ahead. Well, the gym that's back in the city. I shouldn't have any problems with that. Oh my god, I just realized. The, uh, the battle tower area. I should check on that. Pizza is getting a lot. Uh, actually. <clears throat> okay, we're going back to this house to heal up. The, the main problem with this, uh, with the chonk lock, I'd say is I have a very limited number of Pokemon. So I have these guys, and then I think I've got two Pokemon in storage. Which honestly doesn't sound that bad. Like, okay, that would be about normal here because... Let me get up the map. Yeah, that would be about how many places I've been to. Let's see, that would be one, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven. Hold up. I recently catch something, two things on a route. Let me double check my thing. Two, three, okay. That's all good. Four, yep. Five, six. Okay, yeah, no, I just miscounted. Got it. I think I forgot to count right. Uh, uh, yeah. So I have pinwheel four. Yep. All right. <clears throat> and what's the uh, the route after this? Was that route four? I actually did forget to put that on my uh, my little sheet. Yep, yeah, route four. Oh, but uh, with what I was saying, so the problem with this, I am going to have a couple more routes where I can get stuff. But I think it's going to be within the next couple of routes. <clears throat> Sorry, there's something in my throat there. Uh, it's going to be within the next couple of routes that it goes from me being able to get stuff to I would be able to get stuff in post-game. Or, I am now kind of locked out of uh, a lot of the routes. Simply because there there's nothing left there anymore for me. So, that's going to be the, the challenge, like, more towards the end of this, where... If I lose a Pokemon, that's kind of it. I don't, I can't really go to some of these routes to get another one. Uh, which part of me, uh, with, uh, doing this whole, like, trial run with this? This is the battle tower, right? Battle company. Okay. And dials up front. These three are strong enough for I sh should be good. Okay. 
Okay. Perfect. One Pokemon. This gives me a good idea as to what I'm going to be fighting here. Pizza's probably going to be the best thing here because it's got a... It's Prettier is a normal type. Yeah, pizza would be the best thing here, probably. Okay, perfect. Uh, Vital throw. Okay, that gives me a good idea as to what the levels are of this place. Thinking, I'm gonna, I would pro, I'm probably gonna heal between each battle. Oh. Okay, well. Uh, mainly because I don't want to lose anything in there, but that is actually a pretty good place for me to grind out Sand Dial. Or Jerky, I believe is what I named him. Yep. The only problem up there is going to be if I run into something that I have nothing that's good against. Okay. I think... You, I should be able to fight. Let's hope. Timber. Uh... That would mean... Could be able to... Okay, I was a bit worried about switching into Jelly Bean there. Great. Oh, well, that's useless. Oh, wait, I do have something to go up against this. Just be bacon. No, okay, I do have- I think I have the charcoal on him. Okay. That should be fine. Ooh, nice! Uh, cottony? No, keep battling. Oh, wait! I forgot to switch back into Sand Isle. Already level 18, though. That That's pretty good. So. Your defense is not great. That's okay. I'm sure that'll be fixed when you evolve. I'm gonna go heal. I don't know how many uh, more of these people have Pokemon, but I want everyone to be fully healed before I go into a lot of those battles if I'm using them to train Sandile. battle people up here? Nope. Scientist. Like, not gonna be my best battle. Oh, uh, never mind. I was expecting him to have, like, a steel type or a psychic type or electric. This works out perfectly fine. Uh, pizza, because I don't want to switch into crispy bacon. Oh. <laughs> you did lose. OK. 
Okay. Everything's going pretty well here. Is that last scientist going to have something for me? Is that why all these guys are battling me? Hmm. Mm. I think pizza's my... Pizza and french fry. That's it. That's all I got for this. Uh, Basculin... Is Basculin a dark type? No. No. Okay. Hence, I'm doing switch training. That's the only reason I'm doing this. Slap. That's a pretty good... Well, I mean, not pretty good. It's better than Sand Attack. It basically does the same thing as Sand Attack, but it also does damage. Yeah, we're getting rid of Sand Attack. Yeah, I could... Yeah, I can switch into Pizza. Okay, and then Pokemon... Pizza. I'm going to switch into pizza, and then I'm immediately going to go heal him. Because I know that this isn't a lot of damage that he's taking, but I'm afraid of, like, a crit doing some ungodly amount of damage that I never thought was possible. If you're wondering why I'm not using uh, Grass Knot, uh, Grass Knot only has damage based on the weight of the enemy Pokemon. Basculi uh, Basculin does not weigh that much. Nice. I'm glad that Jerky's getting up levels pretty quickly. Oh! Oh! Oh, that's pretty good! I didn't realize that was up here. Ooh, who should I give that to? What do you have on you? I just realized you... still pick up. Your attack is 36, okay. 25. Well... That's 40. Oh, but I, I'm giving you the EVO light and you're going to stay with that. That increases your defense and special defense, and I can't get you to your third form, so. Perfect. 58, but you are also three levels higher. Why does Lil Pup hit like a truck when, uh, when like you're at the lowest levels and then as soon as you get up to here it's like, eh, not as good. Oh, probably because I haven't evolved him. You know what, never mind, that was a stupid question. I do want to try to level up some more of my Pokemon before uh, we go to the next gym. I think, think, I am all set for the next gym because I believe the highest level Pokemon at the next gym is 23. And I should just need Crispy Bacon, Meatball, and Jelly Bean to handle it. Good. Because it's a... No, not Jelly Bean. Jelly Bean would not be put in. 
I should just need crispy bacon and meatball to deal with it. Because the next gym is a bug type gym. Which is also, I think, known as the weakest type. Or one of the weakest types in the game. So I should just need these two. Jerky can't go in because he is a dark type and bug is super effective against dark. Jellybean can't go in because bug is super effective against psychic. And french fry and pizza, they just won't have anything of use for the table. Right. Yeah. Yeah, so... I think I'm just gonna level up my Pokémon just so that everyone is around the same level. Cannot wait till I get the... Oh, wrong floor. Oop. Can't wait till I get to, um, whatever the point is where I can get, we'll just leave stuff in the middle of the floor here. Okay. Can't wait till I can get to wherever, oh my god, look at that eye of the researcher in the bottom left. Ooh. I think they're on something. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I can't wait till I can get the EXP share, because that would make it so that I no longer have to do the Switch training. Which, the Switch training... This is a game where Pursuit is still an attack, which makes Switch training incredibly stressful. Uh, if you didn't know, in the newer games, Pursuit is not an attack, so you never have to worry about it. I think it was an attack in Sun and Moon. If not, then it hasn't been since Sun and Moon, because I know that it is not a move in Sword and Shield, and it's not a move in Scarlet and Violet. A lot of moves were actually taken out in Sword and Shield and Scarlet and Violet. An oddly large amount. Jerky, I want to get up at least one more level. Once he's level 20, he'll be all good, like, if I want to just put him into battle against something. Oh, they have higher level Pokemon up here. Uh, Meatball should be good here. Thank you, Meatball. Oh wait, you know what? I just realized... Item, take... I should have, uh, Jerky been having the amulet coin on him this whole time. Ugh, okay. Ag. I'm gonna have to sell that. Uh, no, that's too good. Fresh water. I only do 50. That's... Oh, I only need a potion. There we go. And a wonderful trainer. I will research you immediately. Okay. Muna! I don't have any specifically dark type Pokemon. French Fry, you're gonna be going in on this. That's horrifying. No! Uh, I have an Awakening, right? Yes. Perfectly fine that you sealed the moves. <sighs> oh, 
Okay, maybe I shouldn't stay up here. Because I think pizza, crispy bacon, and uh, meatball and jelly bean could be perfectly fine up here. Jerky and french fry, on the other hand... I don't think they'll be as fine. Wait, wait, do I only have two more battles up here? Yes, okay. Not actually... No, but I probably have to fight the president as well. Okay, no. I, I should let my Pokemon... Uh, train a little bit more. I should be good for most of these guys now. I think jerky, pizza, and french fry I want to get up at least one more level. I could actually fight Darmanitans now with Jerky. I think he has enough moves where that should be possible. Oh, but wait, what is his uh, what is his defense? Not great. When does Sandile evolve? It's not like till thirty, isn't it? Oh, 29. Okay, well then that's not that bad. Okay, and that's pretty good. Oh wait, how does Darmanitan evolve? Is that with a, a stone? No way, that's just level, isn't it? It's the regional that's a stone. Okay, that's where I got, uh, mixed up. Okay, and then it's 35 for them. Got it. Hidden ability, right? Yeah. So, I... Hmm. If, when I can get a Darumaka, I really want it to have Inner Focus as its ability. Because if it has Inner Focus as its an ability, which is its hidden ability, which I hate that it's the hidden one, then it'll have Zen Mode. Which Zen Mode is um, when the Pokemon gets to 50% of its maximum health, it changes forms... Um, and that's really good into Zen mode, which I think increases its defense or something a little bit. I know that it gets Psychic type when it does that, so that'll be really great if I can get that. If not, uh, I mean, its other ability isn't too terrible. It just, you know, makes it so that it hits harder but has less accuracy. Um. Okay, I... Jerky, this will be your trial battle. Oh my god! Jerky, you have no defense! <sighs> okay, Jerky, we're just... After Intimidate. Oh my god. Okay. 
I, I'm gonna heal up Jerky. So, it seems like Jerky's going to be pretty useless for a while. Oh my god. The damage that happened with that. Jerky, you don't have any defense. I think I might have to give him the EVO light if I keep him in battle. Hi, buddy. Ugh. Okay, you know what I might do? Might head over to the... Gym. No, you're not the gym. Uh, I might head over to the gym, which I think is down this. Right, yep. I think it's down this street. Yeah, and I might use the gym to switch train, because I should be pretty safe switching into crispy bacon or meatball in this gym. <clears throat> <clears throat> Hi. About team if I remember your name is Pineapple. The gym challenge. Sorry, but I but could you wait a bit? I was informed that Team Plasma has shown up. In fact, come with me. I'm going to the dock at okay. That I think is the stock. I just healed up everyone, everything should be fine. I could also, because they have a lot of uh, dark types, so I could use this also to train pizza some more. Oh. This one? Don't. Oh. Okay. Hi. After the thief as fast as I could, but the city is so big and so crowded, I'm afraid I lost them. Good, but that's so bad. Uh, taking people's Pokemon is really bad, because it's really nice when people and Pokemon are together. Yep, yep, yep. Here, we will get the Pokemon back. Person or Pokemon here in this would be like finding a needle in a haystack. I. I guess I just run around till I find them. Oh, this is the building that was empty when I was here before, and I just claimed it. Hey, they're in my building. Yeah, sure. You wonder what I kind of hate in these? Oh, sand dial. Uh, yeah, switch to pizza. What I kind of hate in these games is whenever they have it where, like, you're battling with, say, it's you and the uh, the gym leader is battling, but the gym leader is going up against two of them and you can only go up against one. Fine. Yeah, switch. Turkey needs some more levels. 
Um, but the one reason why I kind of hate that is because it's like, okay, so let me get this straight. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Let me get this straight. This guy who I'm about to beat in like 10 seconds, you're trying to get at that he's stronger than me because he can take on two of these guys at once. I can only take on one of them. Bad for Team Plasma. Or Plasbad for short. Oh, uh, the stone Pokemon my baby in there as well. Okay, I'm going in. That's nice. I will join you guys in a sec. I'm sorry. Uh, I am just overly cautious with uh, doing Nuzlocks. Actually, how much money do I have versus what my supplies are? I have a lot of money. Uh, I should have enough Pokeballs, because I don't... I'll, I won't be able to catch anything again till the Desert Resort. I should be good till after the next gym. 13 Super Potions, I should be fine. I don't have... I only had one Awakening, so let's get... Get three of these. Actually, no. I don't think I'll need a burn heal. Ice heal. Yes, I will need that. Not probably for a while, but getting them now would probably be a good idea. Um, Antidote. I have 17. <laughs> uh, thank you. Thank you, French Fry. But that is... So I know that... Uh, Hurtier and Stoutland's abilities are not great when uh, Lil Pup has pickup. And I kind of wish he had Intimidate and uh, like the other ability instead. But pickup is great for this because uh, poison and whatnot easily can destroy a team. Like if you don't have antidotes on you. And thanks to uh French fries pickup, I've got 17 of these. I probably won't have to buy antidotes for quite a while. Uh, Paralyze heal, I'll buy one more. Eh, I'll actually buy two burn heals. Burn isn't a big concern, because once you're out of battle, it no longer hurts you. The problem with burn is as long as your Pokemon is burned, they, uh, they have lower attack. Then I can sell. Yeah. I don't have any needs for, uh... Anything in here that I don't have a need for? Not really. I should give that to someone. I don't know who yet. I think I want to wait till, like, to decide on who I give that to. I want to wait for Jerky and French Fry to evolve once. Because it could be really useful on pizza. On the other hand... Uh, did I give you Thief, by the way? I did. On the other hand, once Jerky gets high up enough... I would definitely want him to evolve once at the least. Uh, I could go back to where I caught pizza and I could try to get um, the black belt. I believe I can get over there. Which would be great. And the reason why I'm waiting for Jerky to evolve once right now, Jerky is a soft boy. He does not have much defense, and he is weak to fighting types, 
Which I know right now, I believe he'd be like 10 levels above the Thraws that I can catch over there. But I want to be safe. Actually, probably once he's level 25, I, I'll be fine. Also, let me know if you guys want me to slow down the stream at all. Uh, by slow it down, I mean, like, instead of having this, just go like this. The main reason why I'm doing the speed up is because I want there to actually be, uh... Um... I don't want to go in here yet. I might be being overly cautious, but I don't know if I'm going to have to fight Getsus. And if I do, if I'm remembering correctly, that is actually a hard battle. So... I'm gonna go train a bit more. Uh, but as I said, I usually want there to be more substance in these uh, streams, and when I upload them to YouTube eventually, the YouTube video. And at current... Are you going to fight me? I'm not fighting you. going in the opposite direction. Everywhere is death. Okay. Um, probably Sand Tomb is your strongest. Okay. So Jerky I can have in against his own kind. Good to know. I could not have him in against this. So Darumaka's other ability is he does 50% more damage, but... He, um, he only has 80% accuracy max. Meaning, even if a move has 100% accuracy, for him it only has 80. So... I'm going to use up here to get jerky up a little, like at least one more level as I said. And I'll probably run back to the forest for the rest. Oh. Ooh, um... Bag, HP, super, super. Jerky. I love you, Jerky. And I actually really do like your evolved forms. My god. Turkey, I need you to have better defense. You know, I probably should give him the EVO light for training. I will definitely give it to him when I'm trying to get that item for Thrall. Because also, if I get that for Thrall, I, I think 
Thrall will be a lot better. It essentially raises his attack when he's using fighting type moves. Okay. Ooh. What is your... Okay, your attack... Here's the thing. His attack is great. I'm pretty sure Sandile is one of those lines where early on, like, it's first stage, maybe even it's second. Not amazing Pokemon, you know what I mean? Hey, what's up, Yuki? Um, not amazing for its first couple of stage, for its first stage or two, but once it gets to its final stage, amazing Pokemon. I should name one of my streams that. It's time for the fattening. <laughs> that is an amazing title. I am saving that. Time for the fattening. Ah, oh, thank you. Oh, wait, no, I don't want you in against this. <laughs> I mean, I... You also gave me something quite, uh... Quite good to enjoy as well, with, uh, the whole chonk lock. I am enjoying it. It's very nice and fun. And it does have its, like, it does have its struggles, like, in a normal Nuzlocke, there might have been a possibility where I could have a more balanced team. Or I could just have the same exact team here. But, in the Chonk Lock, uh, I am very limited. So, I, I like the challenges that it brings forward, along with... Okay. I like the challenges that it brings forward along with how it also forces you to use some of the slower and uh, chonkier Pokemon. So you have to think about, I'm probably never going to attack first. But on the same point, it's like, well, it doesn't really matter all the time that you won't be attacking first because, like, look at... Pizza. Pizza alone. Oh, I'm no longer on pizza. Pizza alone has amazing defense and amazing special defense. It doesn't matter if he's not going to be fighting first. Plus, almost all of his moves are based on he attacks second. So. Pretty good. I like that it. Usually, how I play these Pokemon games is, um. Blast cannons. I attack first, I attack the hardest. Everything's dead before the before it uh, even manages to say hi. So I do like how this is making me do a different uh, thought process. Why am I running down here? There's a way for me to heal Pokemon up here. Try doesn't have anything. Oh my god. Sorry, I'm not saying oh my god to you. Uh, I always love it that when I'm streaming, as soon as I start streaming, the chat that I have with uh, my group of friends immediately blows up. Oh, nice! I always love swimming. Being in the water is probably, like, my favorite activity.
Did you just go to like a, a pool or like was there a lake or something that you went to or what? For me, honestly, I could spend hours in a pool. It... It doesn't matter uh, if, like, I start getting all pruney. The weather... If, weather. If the weather starts to get a little cold, I will stay in that water. Oh, nice. I can't go to any of the pools that I used to go to. Okay. That I used to years ago, because I don't live in the same state anymore. Oh, uh, Yuki, you live... more in the, uh, the south, I guess. Yeah. Um... Do you know what, uh, white barbecue sauce is? Because the, the main reason I'm asking is because, uh... Oh my god, you've... Okay. So it's very specific areas of the south, I guess, that no one... It, it's... Uh, white barbecue sauce is a mayo and, like, a vinegar or apple cider vinegar based, um... <laughs> uh, based barbecue sauce. I am not from the south. I do not live as far down as Alabama. Um, but it's good. And the other day I went to a, um, a food truck that had like barbecue so stuff. So I asked them like, hey, do you guys have white barbecue sauce? And they're like, what are you talking about? <laughs> Right, I forgot about that. Sorry about that. But yeah, it's it's a mayo and vinegar based um barbecue sauce. Really good actually. If you don't like so for anyone wondering Yeah. Uh for anyone wondering, if you don't like barbecue sauce, like it's just not your thing. I suggest trying uh, white barbecue sauce. In my opinion, it's way better. And it might have a flavor that you like more. Uh, I'm just gonna put pizza out again. I want pizza to get more levels. Oh my god! I would have to go through grass to get to the healing up there, and I'm not risking Thrall. That's also why earlier I said, uh, I was gonna heal Thrall, because I didn't trust that something wasn't gonna get a, uh... God, the crits in this game are terrifying. I am thoroughly probably screwed if I ever get to a point where pizza faints. Especially this early on where he is by far my best defense. Oh my god. <laughs> ah, that's fine. Yeah, no, no, so, um, 
the other day when I when I went to the uh, the barbecue place and I asked if they had white barbecue sauce and they oh I'm definitely a city boy we grew up right outside of New York so you know New York City not the state um well I guess also the state but you know what I mean uh, the other day when I asked uh, the per the person who was at the place was like basically the same that uh that you said what you talking about boy and then like i'm like ah uh, it, it's if you don't know what it is then you guys probably don't have it and they're like white and i'm like yes and they're like not light white and i'm like yes so they're like okay no we don't have that and they walked away for a little bit and then they came back and they're like sorry what is white barbecue sauce. I've never heard of that. To which I explained it to them. And then after they went away that time, there was a guy nearby who had heard me had this uh, have this conversation. And he had a very, like, Louisiana accent. And he was like, are you from Alabama? And I'm like, no. I just... I like white barbecue sauce. I'm a Jersey boy. Who is... I Okay, so also with your thing of the city boy. Little thing about me, I am actively freaked out by um, large areas of like nothing in farmland. Why is there nothing? Why is there so much nothing? What if something goes wrong? There is no way anyone would be out here to help me. Or anyone. It just, ugh. Oh yeah, no, I know. Um. But yeah, no. The... The vast nothingness that is um, out in like these farmlands and whatnot. I just, it freaks me out. Especially when there's like cornfields. What is in that cornfield? It could be anything. Anything. You're looking at it and you're like, it's probably just corn in there, but do you know? There could be a scythe-wielding maniac in there, who's probably also Farmer Jim, but you know what I mean. Exa I yeah. Well, I think I'd, I wouldn't like Texas for other reasons, but, uh... Oh no. Bag. But yeah, no. Do I have anything to get rid of confusion? Etchabar no, that's poison. Sleep. All I have is a full heal. But yeah, no. Uh, vast open areas of nothingness just freak me out. And I question you if they don't freak you out. Because... How does the idea of there's nothing around and there's absolutely no guarantee that anyone will find me... Uh, how does that not freak you out? Speaking of people not uh, not being found, did you know that um, there's a lot of myths that are involved with uh, with what was I saying? Uh, with like how you should ration your supplies and whatnot. 
uh, if you get lost in the desert or lost in uh, the woods or whatever. The, the reason why there are some myths is because there are people who have been found not too far from a roadside with plenty of food and water. That is also true. I actually do really like cryptids. They're kind of cool. Same reason why I like, you know, SCP and whatnot and that stuff. It's just really nice and cool stuff. Isn't there... I'm trying to remember. I know there's... Is it Virginia that has a cryptid? That all it is is it cries because it's so ugly? I've never heard of the Ohio grass, man. The biggest one that I know of, uh, which kind of makes sense why I would know it, is the New Jersey Devil. Which, there's also a lot in, uh, if, if you're ever looking into, like, creepy stories or, like, cryptids and whatnot. The Ohio Grassman is 9 to 10 feet tall? But if, if you're ever looking for, like, creepy stories or, um, you know, ghost stories, cryptids, that stuff, I'd suggest looking into stories of the New Jersey Pine Barrens. Uh, where the Pineys live. Which, I am mentioning that because apparent. So, here's the thing. In New Jersey, we have this term called the Pineys, which is a term that means people who are from the Pine Barrens. Ooh. Interesting. That's pretty cool for the Ohio grass man. Um, but the Piney... So, the Pineys are people who live in the Pine Barrens. And they're essentially... Ooh, nice. Ooh, I wonder if that's what uh, the Bigfoot game is based on. If I had some friends to play that with, I would probably play that on stream. Ooh, what does Embargo do? That, like, stops you... That's not bad. I could see, I could see a use for Embargo. Uh, insurance is 54. Oh. I think Thief is a 50 attack power in X and Y. Hmm. Good. No, that's good. Turkey, you're just not going to learn that. Oh yeah, but anyway, so I have friends who are also from New Jersey. They've never heard of the term Pineys. Pineys are people who live in the Pine Barrens who are essentially rednecks. And I don't know why. Because, okay, so also with this, I have friends who are like, I've never heard that term before. And one of them that I asked is literally the one who told me what the term me meant in high school. 
they taught me the term, and they're like, nah, I don't remember that. And I'm like, oh my god. But for some reason, I'm the only one who knows what this is, and I've looked it up. It's not just something that my friend made up in high school and told me, and then, like, you know, no one knows what it is anymore. Also, I think sometimes my New Jersey accent comes out when I talk like when I talk about this and I get passionate and whatnot. Uh, but it, it's not like no one knows what this is or that, you know, um, my friend made it up or something. The, the Pineys is an actual term that is used in New Jersey. Sorry, I'm pausing for a bit because I can... At times, I can, like, hear my own accent, and I'm like, mmm. But it's just... Anyway, uh, the... <laughs> uh, but anyway, the... the... Oh yeah, the um, the Ohio grass man. That is cool stuff. Um, but let's see. Uh, in the Pine Barrens, there there's stuff like <sighs> I know there's a ghost doctor who I believe is like the ghost of a black man who was a doctor is what I'm remembering and like he'll appear to people and help them out I don't know if he's the same ghost that appears uh, to stop them from getting hurt or if that's a different ghost there's one that'll appear to like freak you out and like get you to stop and then um like I think there's like a story of a Oh my god, Joe with the zoomies. There's like a... But there's one ghost that I know like was stopped in front of a bridge and then the person driving stopped and then turned out the bridge had collapsed or something. Similar to uh, Mothman, who it's debatable as to if he's evil or not. Because I think there's some stories of Mothman that say he tried to warn people that a bridge was collapsing. And then there's others who say, no, he is the reason the bridge collapsed. But I love it when animals get the zoomies. I actually, so I, at current, don't have a pet that lives with me. I'd be using that, no. Actually, yeah, probably that. I at current don't have a pet that lives with me. Um, my girlfriend's mother has a cat that I do help take care of sometimes, and I love that cat. Uh, but my upstairs neighbors have three dogs. And sometimes we'll, like hear a car door close outside. We're not looking outside, we're doing other stuff. And then... We'll hear someone walk up our building. Okay, whatever. And then all of a sudden, like, a few seconds after that, just... Thump, 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 thump. And it's lovely. I love it. I love when animals get the zoomies. Huh. Okay. I believe that. That sounds reasonable and plausible. That's just, uh, everyone... Everyone's looking too much into him. He didn't do anything, he just likes to sit on bridges.
How much till you... Oh, you've got a lot till you get another level. Okay. Um... I think in general I have everyone up to a good amount. Yeah, I never really try to, like, analyze magical beings. It, sometimes their reasonings are just very simple. I should heal before I go do, to, do the Team Plasma stuff. That's why am I about to go in there? That wasn't... Probably gonna start with beef uh, with jerky again. Why do I? Ah, uh, cause beef jerky was my for alligator's name. I just realized I named my for alligator beef jerky, and I'm naming this other this crocodile jerky. I was just thinking of crocodile jerky or alligator jerky when I was naming him, but which I've never had, but I would actually like to try one day. That and I think kangaroo jerky is a thing. That would be an interesting thing to try. I don't know if that's a reaction to me saying that I want to eat alligators and crocodiles. Or uh, a reaction to I just happen to name things the same way. Oh, you've had a gator? I, I name all the gators after jerky out of a subconscious want to eat them. Alright. Uh, I think I'm all good now. Huh. My word, if it isn't the gym leader, Berg. So, what would you say is the guiding principle of Team Plasma anyway? Take what you want from people? Thought it would be amusing to prepare a hideout right in front of a Pokemon gym. We are detected more quickly than I imagined, indeed. No matter, we already have an exceptional base of operations. Is everyone familiar with the legend of the founding of the Unova region? Oh, hi, Em. It's the white dragon-type Pokemon, right? The truth is this. The white dragon appeared before a hero who sought the true way to knit together a world full of many warring people. This white dragon-type Pokemon shared its knowledge and bared its fangs at those who stood against it. Together, the power of this Pokemon, the hero, brought unity to the hearts of everyone in the land. And that is how Inova was created. We shall bring back the hero and that Pokemon to Inova once again. If we can win people's hearts and minds, we can easily create the world that I, I mean, Team Plasma, desires. Okay. The, it would be interesting to tour the bayous. That's, um... In Louisiana? Yes, okay. Sorry, I, I didn't read all of your messages, just the most recent. Um, I do like Cajun stuff, so I would also like to travel to Louisiana just to uh, try authentic stuff like that. I do make Cajun food. Every now and then, and I eat it. You're different. Honestly, there's something about what you're saying I don't quite understand. Yes? What is it? One thing we all have in common is that we all care a lot about Pokemon. Even people meeting for the first time can talk about Pokemon. Talk or battle or trade. 
Remember your speech in Akum Akumula Town? Okay. You were responsible for leading me to rethink my relationship with Pokemon. For that, I thank you. That time, I made a promise. I swore to myself that I would dedicate myself to Pokemon even more strongly. What you guys are doing? Aren't you going to strength? Aren't you going to strengthen the bond between people and Pokemon even more? <laughs> you are quite hard to figure out. A little more intelligent than I expected. I am fond of intelligent people. You see, you'll enjoy hearing about this. From every corner of the world, I've gathered knowledgeable people for our king's benefit. And you could call them the Seven Sages. Very well. We will submit to your opinion and be on our way. That girl over there, return her Pokemon. Thank you. Mooney, I'm so glad to see you again. Person, why are you thanking them? They, ta they take people's precious Pokemon. Just, I'm, I'm so happy that Moon is safe. Okay. Pokemon and people can be very touching, but in order to liberate Pokemon from foolish people, we're, we will revive the legend of, the, of Anova and win the hearts and minds of everyone. Farewell. Thanks, Berg, for letting them get away. I didn't want to battle Getsis right now. Pokemon. Here, this is for you. I don't know what that berry does. I'd like to look at a lot of places around the world, honestly. The bayous would be interesting, and so I know that I said, like, basically areas of, like, there's nothing freak me out, but if you're getting a tour of an area of nothing, it's it's a little different, in my opinion. Okay, still no one up here. Gonna double check, yep. Um, if you're, if you're on a tour, it's a little different because it's not like you're out in the middle of nowhere. You have a guide. And the guide can help you. Like, if you guys get lost or something, he'd be like, okay... Yeah, our car crashed, uh, our car broke down or something, or our boat broke down, but yeah, I know what we're doing. Oh, that was a good movie! I understand it for that reason. I've always wanted to go to um, New Zealand for the reason of the uh, Lord of the Rings movies. And I want to see where they filmed uh, Jurassic Park, but I think that was in Spain? Spain or Italy? Something like that. Could be wrong. I'm so glad I didn't have to fight. Oh, then I've been where they filmed Jurassic Park. <laughs> Ah, I've been to one of my destinations. I went to the main island of Hawaii, uh, like, two years ago? A year ago? Two years ago. Two years ago. Um, I climbed up a volcano. I think I had told that part already, where I climbed up a volcano and then... When we got up to the top, we found out there was a road where you could just drive up to the top instead of hiking. Yeah, I definitely told that one. Um.
That was, that was a long hike. I went all the way, so we started at the bottom um, of the, of where, like, uh, the volcano was. And there's a hiking trail. So we go all the way along this hiking trail. It is hot. It is exhausting. My muscles are like, please stop. But I'm like, no, I want to see the caldera, which is uh, the crater that's at the top of the volcano. I want to see it. So me, my girlfriend, Ooh, I've been to Pompeii. Um, but anyway, so I get up there. It's me, my girlfriend, um, my friend, and his fiance, who's also my friend. Uh, we get up to the top, and all four of us are up there, and we look over, and there's a road that is right to the top here, and we're like, why? Um... But yeah, I have been to Pompeii. Um, the city I've been to. Not the, uh, uh, I haven't been to Mount Vesuvius. But it, uh, it, w it was quite interesting. Did you know? that in Pompeii, on the walls, on certain walls and on the streets, there's a, um, what is the most YouTube and Twitch friendly way to say this? There is a hot dog with meatballs uh, on the ground or on the walls that point you in the direction of the red light district. Which, if you don't know what that is and you're watching this video, ask your parents. Uh, I'm sure they're, they will be happy to tell you. And yeah, you can look it up. It's because it was an ancient city that, you know, this is how they would do that. I am not bluffing. I'm going to double check that. Because that is something that I actually remember. Hold on. Yep. You can look it up. It is called the st Stone Fat. You can guess what the rest of that word is. I'm not saying the full thing, just in case. Of uh, Pompeii. I will allow this term. But no, I'm not bluffing. I just double checked it. Uh, that is actually a thing. Uh, you know what? This is educational. I could... I can't show the actual image, but, uh, I can... Share... I, I'm trying to... But, uh, hold on. Let me, let me get this over here. I, I have obscured all the words that um i think youtube and what would not like it is it is but they they point to the red light district which if you know what that is then you're like oh okay that makes sense if you don't know what that is ask your parents oh do i have to just like run through this Yes, I do. I figured you knew exactly what it was. For everyone else, I want to cause some chaos with the parents. But also, for YouTube and um, Twitch, uh, when I had that word up on the screen, that was for educational purposes. 
So, I believe it gets an exemption. Uh, but yeah, uh, they have those on the ground. It was to point to the red light district, and that would be like... Because... Yes. Uh, it, it's because... um. In the past, like in uh, ancient Greece and Rome, this stuff, like, um, that would be more uh, in the same vein as the red light districts and whatnot, uh, wasn't as frowned upon as it is in more of today's society, or shunned or whatever you want to call it. It wasn't as much. So they were able to just have it out in the open. Now, it was still something where it was like, you know, have it where it's not just like a poster board that says, go this way. But, um, it, it, they just, that's how they pointed it out. That way they didn't have to have signs that say, red light di this way. If you didn't know what the weird, you know, um, hot dogs on the ground meant, you didn't know what they meant, and that was that. If you did know what they meant, you could follow them right to where you wanted to go. Hold on, someone is at my door. I will be right back. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll be right back, everyone. That was no one who I knew. Just someone who I guess was a solicitor or whatever. Eh. But, uh... <sighs> I always check whenever someone knocks on my door. I never answer the door, but I always check. Uh, specifically because of the one time in which it was, I, I've said this on stream, the one time in which it was a police officer who got the wrong person. So, because the guy who had reported the crime reported the wrong person, so, not fully on the officer. They, he was just going off of the information he was given, but, uh... Ever since then, I always check uh, who's at the door, and if it's no one, then eh, whatever. Hawaii was nice, though. Just, like, talking about some places that I've been to. Uh, Hawaii was nice. Uh... I got to see... Uh, switch Pokemon, because I will switch to Jerky. I'll switch back. And then I think for the rest of this gym, I'm gonna keep, uh... Crispy Bacon. <clears throat> out on the field.
because I'd like to get... No, 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 no. Oh my god. Uh... I saw a pursuit and I was like, no. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, um, so while I was there, uh, we went to the beach, we did a few things that were, you know, Hawaii things. Uh, I ate some loco moco. Which, if you've heard of what that is, awesome. You should, uh, you know, if you haven't tried it yet, then try it. If you've heard of what it is and you have tried it, I like it. It's pretty great. Um, if you haven't heard of it, look it up. It's a pretty cool dish. Um, tastes good. Okay. Uh, so yeah, look that up. Let's see, what else did we do? I went into a submarine. And, uh, we, we got, like, a tour of all these wrecks and whatnot. That was pretty cool. Uh, we also, what else did we do? Uh, there was a couple days where we just hung out at the beach or whatever. We did go to the, there's, like, a beach that, that had a bunch of black sand. Which was because of, you know, the, um, the, uh, ash and the uh uh the volcanic rocks and whatnot from past volcanic eruptions <laughs> which was uh that was that was pretty cool of a beach i like that beach uh, while we went to one beach, and the reason why we went to one of the beaches that was kind of like off the beaten path is because, um, it was a beach that we had seen, they said, that sometimes sea turtles were at. We had to walk for quite a while, but I actually got to stand in the water with some sea turtles. They did not give a single anything about me. They... They saw me, and they were like, hey, and then they swam by my feet, and then they went away. Uh, they were pretty cool. I was able to stand in the water with them, so that, I mean, they uh, stand in the water. It was only up to, like, my shins or something. But, oh, Dwebble. Ah. Uh. I'm trying to think of what I have for this. Because that's a bug rock type. Water would be good. Fire's not going to do anything. I think fighting might be neutral, but I think with that, uh, pizza might be my best one. Uh, what else did I- oh yeah, so, uh, one day we went to this beach, which was supposed to be this wonderful beach that, you know, you have to pay to get onto. This is exactly what I mean. Four times out of five. Okay, great. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so you had to pay to get onto this beach, and honestly... When we went onto the beach, it was kind of just like a... It was like any other beach, just because you had to pay to get onto it. Um, more... Open. Yeah, one thing that he gets is four and the other is five. This is not fair. Anyway. Um... What was I saying? Um, oh yeah, so we get on the beach. The only other problem that we had with the beach is uh, there was a 
woman shouting racist stuff at the entrance. And it seemed like, you know, the people who were accepting money for, you know, you to get onto the beach were trying to get her to go away, but, you know. Um, but while I was on the beach, uh, which, it was just a normal beach, which is kind of like why we were kind of figuring, like, mm, if it was really worth the price... But then, while we were on the beach, we were able to um, spot some Nea Neas, which I will get a picture of up. Uh, hold on. Yeah, there we go. Uh... A let's see, I'm gonna get this so that you guys can just see. Uh these. So these are I believe how it's pronounced is Naya Naya. But I could be wrong. Uh they are a type of goose. And the the really cool and interesting thing about them is they are only on the Hawaiian Islands. And even further than that, they are only on the island that they were born on. They don't go much further than that island. They, they might fly out over the ocean or whatever, but they, they usually just stay on the island that they were born on. Um, They are really interesting, and I believe they are a protected species. Yeah, they're... <laughs> yeah, as you can see from this. Um... Okay, that, that's nothing. I'm looking for the bird, not whoever that thinger is. Um, so, as you can see, like, I'll scroll back over again. They only have um, 3,862 uh, of a population. I don't believe they're counted as endangered anymore. Demic to the Hawaiian Islands, the Nene is exclusively found in the wild on the island islands of Oahu, Maui, Oka, and Hawaii. I skipped this one because I figured I was going to butcher it. I also butchered this, but you know. Uh, official state bird of Hawaii. Uh, I believe they're not endangered anymore. I think they're just protected, but I could be wrong on that. They were almost extinct at one point. I do know that much. Um, the answer to that is yes. Oh, is the, uh, do do do. Are they actually endangered? They might be endangered. Hold on. There's a wiki I could go. Uh, let's see. Okay. Yeah, um... Near threatened is what they are now. I know that at one point they were almost, um, endangered. Because I think there was only, like, a couple hundred of them at one point. Uh, let's see. Conservation. It is the world's rarest goose, and I have pictures of it. I took pictures of it. I'm really happy about that. Because th this was actually one of the birds that we went to Hawaii to try to find. I know that uh, you guys want me to get back to the Nuzlocke, but let me talk about this, please. Um... Yes. In uh, do -do -do, in 1952, the population was dirt was reduced to just 30 birds. That is crazy. Thirty. In an entire species, there was 30 left. 
Luckily, as you can see with the rest of this, that their numbers have been climbing. So they're they're a wonderful species. Uh, I'm gonna go back to the picture of them because I actually really like how they look. Um, but I just realized uh, you guys can see some stuff that I would prefer you guys not see. Um, but they they are. Uh, I really like the look of them. Their whole design and ever like the whole design of these guys and whatnot. Uh, their patterns. Cool birds. Cool birds. And I was able to see some at this beach. Uh, which was really cool. Now, obviously, me and my girlfriend, we like birds. So we knew that um, they were an endangered species that was there. I'm talking about these guys for quite a while. But that is okay because I can have a long stream today. Um, but... The, these guys, um, they, there were two that were just hanging out, and I don't think I have my pictures of my trip on my PC. Uh, if you guys want, I could get those up at some point, and I can show you all this stuff. Um, but they were just hanging out, and we noticed them, and we saw them, and we were like, oh my god! So we went over and, like, me and my girlfriend started taking pictures. I started taking, like, slow-mo captures and whatnot of them just, like, moving around and flapping their wings. Um, it was really cool. And as we're doing this, there's a family that is, like, just sitting on the beach near these things. And I'm like, oh my god, we are kind of being not great people to this family. So when they were looking at us, I I explained to them. I'm like, these are those are uh, Naya Naya. They they're an incredibly rare species of goose. Um, like they, at one point they were endangered. Like there used to be less than a hundred left, but now their population has increased. And as soon as I said that, they were like, oh, like they didn't realize, which it was understandable because they just, if you don't know any better, this is just a this is just a goose. You know what I mean? Um, but when, then they were like, oh, and they got out their cameras and they took pictures because I, they didn't realize they were sitting so close to this, to the world's rarest goose. Um, and it, it was just great to be able to see them. I'm sorry, I've ranted enough about the Naya Naya as, uh, as possible. I, I'm sorry, we'll, we'll get back to the game. Uh, I think it was it, it's only one of these that opens it. No, okay. Um. This one? Oh, I gotta go. Okay, got it. <clears throat> um. But yeah, the just a a wonderful species. Also, I know that I I believe how it's pronounced is hi. Yeah, thank you for going to the trouble of calling me out. I'll channel my gratitude into my Pokemon moves and make sure it gets to you. Thank you, buddy. Um, what was I saying? Crick. Uh, but yeah, um... Really cool. The sad thing, though, about Hawaii is due to a lot of invasive species, due to um, not just the invasive species, but why would I be switching down? Um, 
but due to, like, you know, a lot of military testing and whatnot that was done on the islands, and due to, like, um, general settling and, like, people uh, building up the... Uh, building up cities and whatnot and in Hawaii, uh, a lot of species of birds have actually gone extinct on Hawaii. Uh, a lot of species in general have gone extinct. Um, at, at one point, the islands used to be full of all of these... Um, I think they're called honeysuckers or whatever. Think of, like, um, birds that would be similar to hummingbirds where they uh they they eat, like they eat the nectar of flowers and whatnot and hawaii used to have um uh hawaii used to have all these species that were on the islands and that um would just be like going around and whatnot but the due to everything they just started to slowly decline and get more and more rare um we were looking around uh, originally for a lot of other for i'm going to go heal my pokemon because i've used a lot of attacks so i just want to get their pp back um, but there used to be a lot more birds on the islands that were very varied and very colorful and everything. There is still a lot of birds on the island, but a good number of them have gone extinct. I think at one point in Hawaii, there used to be like, um, 150 different species of honeysuckers, but I think now it's down to under 50 i think it's like in the 20s or something uh i could be wrong on that number i'm gonna say that right out uh outright that i could be wrong on the number but <clears throat> there is not as many as there used to be and it's it's really sad especially because it's it come on step on the switch and what happens okay Okay. Hi. Um, it's really sad that all that happened to them. And whatnot. You're probably gonna use another suit, but that's okay, because I could just switch to crispy bacon. No, you're not. I do want to get a venipede. Uh, speed waddle switch. Actually, no, I won't switch. I want to get crispy bacon up like another level or two before I fight the gym leader. Uh, but it's sad how many of these species have gone extinct. Uh, oh, I forgot to press the button. And... There, there's actually a lot of efforts in Hawaii for conservation and whatnot. Uh, I'm gonna go... You know what? No, I don't have to heal. Let's see, what are my Pokemon at? So, because I'm about to go to the gym trainer, I am going to switch... Crispy Bacon up front. Uh, what item do you have on you? Charcoal, okay. Antidote. Uh, yeah, and as I said, after this gym, I'm probably gonna evolve French Fry. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna evolve French Fry after this. Which is sad. Because he will no longer be the little puppy that we know, but... At that point, um... Uh... 
don't think I'll use pizza in this battle. I think I just need these two in this battle. So, we'll see. But yeah, it's sad um, about how many of the species of birds just have gone extinct. Or the species in general that have gone extinct on Hawaii. And all of the uh, the invasive species. There were these cute little, uh, what are they, mongooses? Ferrets? Whatever they were. On the islands. And honestly, they were adorable. I really loved them because they were so cute. But they were an invasive species. And, which is sad. And that means that we would definitely have to... Um, you know, prevent them from continuing to spread. I actually think the mongooses are one of the reasons why, or ferrets or whatever they were. Uh, um, don't think. I don't think Dwebble resists rock. Right, that's a rock type move. Okay. Oh. Don't. Please don't tell me about your switch. That hasn't come out yet, and I don't need to know that it's turned on. Nice. I think Meatball evolves soon. Uh, leave Bonnie. this that the music changed for the final pokemon also i like levani it was, it's actually a very interesting pokemon line like i like the sea waddle to the second form to levani like the whole line is actually pretty interesting and cool i don't know it's just a nice line a bug grass type okay I thought that was going to do more damage, and I was thinking, um... I remember from my Italy trip. Um... I remember actually quite a bit. I could save that for another stream. Why don't I keep you guys on your toes? And then I actually have other stories to tell besides the same one five times in a row. Because I know I do that. Oh, 25 is when Meatball evolved. Nice. I don't think there's any reason for me to keep him as Meatball, so I'm just going to let him evolve. Nice. And that, because the way you get him to his final form is through evolution. Ooh, yeah, Power Gem. That's a great move. Seventy, twenty-five. But if that hits five times in a row, by chance, uh, and if it hits three, it's technically better. Um, I'm trying to debate on this because Rock Blast is good because it can do uh, 125 <clears throat> if 
But I think the... What is the act... Oh, Sorry, I had a little tongue tie there. Uh, the accuracy... So... I mean, on average, Rock Blast is... Uh, but each one... Crit, and the crit rate's pretty good in this one. Headbutt. Headbutt is 70. I'll get rid of Headbutt. I have I have a French fry. English strong, this is your gym badge. And now you are. Thank you. I don't know what I get after this either. So can I now use good. I mean, it's incredible. If you have three badges, Pokemon up to level 40 will obey you, including traded Pokemon. Because I'm a generous guy, I'll also give you this. Probably won't use that. Uh, I might have a Pokemon I'll use that on. That's a maybe. Struggle bug. 30, 20. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'll, I'll use that. I don't think so. Uh, 20 PP, 30 attack, 10, uh, I mean, 100 accuracy, but the 30 attack is really where it is, because it, it doesn't guarantee, I believe, it'll lower the special attack. It's just like, yeah, it might. Oh, but I think I talked about this in my X and Y playthrough. I like the old gyms that are like this. <clears throat> where it's like, here's a gimmick for how you get through the gym, battling all the trainers and whatnot. Uh, okay. Hey. Hey there. Uh, where are you now? <clears throat> Could you do me a favor? Let's have a Pokemon battle. Ursa has trained me and I've become a little stronger. I should be able to protect my own Pokemon now. Let's meet at the gate to Route 4. Okay, see you later. <clears throat> uh, before I do that... Fake. Thank you. <clears throat> before I do that, I actually... Feel I want to get more of my Pokemon closer to 25, and I want to evolve French Fry. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that before I go there. Oh, I could probably do that now. I want to get my full team up to, you know, 23 at the least before I do that. Which would just be like three levels for him and then one for him. The reason why before I do the battle, um, battle corporation or whatever they call themselves... Sorry, but with her at the gate, I have to run all the way back here just to uh, find Pokemon to battle against. My Pokemon should also be high enough level that I should be able to just run through the forest here. Oh, there's an item down there. I never noticed that. Uh, 
it's gonna take a little while, but... It is. Alright, that works. Oh, Big Root, isn't that? Uh, it helps with Grass-type attacks? That or it's like a healing item, I think. Although that boosts the power of HP stealing mood. Oh, okay. I don't think I'll have a use for that until um I get a Moongus or uh Venipede. Up there. I think I actually this is not gonna go as uh great as I was hoping. I'm like gaining nothing. Uh, I'm gonna get up throw. I'm gonna get throw up one more level. So I'm not gonna do what I said where I get them all up to level 25. I think that would take too long on this route. And as I said before, a lot of the reason why I'm having all this speed up is because I want more content for you guys. Uh, whether it's just me talking or whether it's uh, you know me getting through the game. I also am probably going to make shorts on this, because I know that there's some people who just want to skip all of this uh, grinding and just go straight to the what happened in the episode, which is got my Pokemon up levels, uh, and then I... Okay, that's it for you. Oop. Do to do. Sorry, that, uh, me saying oop was, uh, my upstairs dogs are now out barking. Which is fine. As I said, I, I like puppers. Uh, I'm gonna s switch. French fry, you have an item. Yeah, I think French fry needs to evolve. He's he's definitely starting to fall behind for uh attack power and everything. bag. Yeah, even health-wise, he's falling behind. His ability, incredibly useful. But I, I think I do need to evolve him. His ability is getting to the end of its use. Well, not to the end of its usefulness. Pickup is always a great ability. The problem here more lies within... He, as a Pokemon, is uh, becoming less and less useful for battles. Which, you know, that sucks. Okay, that's what I thought. Bug doesn't res- Oh, don't. Okay. 
I should not do that. I did it again. I heal up. My god, D Waddles, please go away. Okay, uh, Petillil. Petillil? Petillil. I never get that one's name correct. Uh, s I'm nervous about putting Jerky into any battle. I want to get Jerky up one more level. That's it. Ooh, this might be exactly what I need. An Audino. Yes, okay. I'm not gonna leave... Oh, okay, Jerky's actually really close to getting up a level. Uh, I'm not gonna leave... Yeah... Uh... Actually... Now that that's fully down. Ooh. Uh, Jer beef jerky up, uh, not beef jerky, jerky up one more level. Because, uh, that actually worked out really well to getting him most of the way to another, to level 24. <sighs> don't, don't, don't. Okay, that gives me an idea of what I should not do. Which is leave him in the battle. Uh, I'll switch to Jelly Bean. Is there anywhere where I could buy berries in this game? Really close to level two of all things. Another Audino. Yes, okay. Panpour! Um. No? Oh, I'll put in French fry, I guess. That, that might be how I'm supposed to get more berries.
Yeah. I could have gotten a Venipede here. Is that only after I did the gym? That might have been only after I did the gym. I just realized... I keep using Thief trying to get an item. Jerky already has an item. Oh, okay. that. That was annoying. Not gonna waste the awakenings and whatnot. There's a woman right outside here that'll heal up my Pokemon. That's kind of sad. I did want a Venipede. What did I get over? I got Thrall over here instead. You know what? No, that's still that was a better trade-off. And I can still get one later on. So you know. Now they're just shoving them in my face. Ooh, I got a Petra Berry! <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> it worked out! Might heal up my Pokemon. Get, oh, no, I can't give him the Evo Light. Ow. Okay, starting to hit like a truck again. That's good. As I said, I think once he... I hope I have another battle after this before he evolves. Nope. As I said, I'm gonna just let him evolve. Because at this point, he's he's not being as as useful, and I'm about to go into a desert area. So having Sand Rush will actually be of use. Goodbye, French Fry, and all of your useful item pickups. We'll miss you. I actually like that ear wiggle when he does the stretchies. And just so that everyone knows, yes, if you're if you have an antidote as the final thing, thank you. Okay, what is your attack now? Uh attack 46. Okay, that's not bad. Uh one of our better ones actually, especially cuz he's a few levels lower than Jerky. Eh, not as good as these guys, but... Okay. 
Not bad. Do want to get him up a couple more levels, though. Why is nothing coming out? Thank you. You're not what I wanted. Pedov, come on. I like when I was probably grinding before actually. Okay, draw. There is, I think it's like, what, a 5% chance that he has it? Hey, you do not have it. I'm not bothering with long battles with Thraws uh, as long as I am just trying to get the item. <clears throat> Temple. Uh, the reason I'm trying to get this item is I'm pretty sure this is the only way to get this item, and it's really useful for fighting types. Which, even if we eventually get rid of Thrall, if I need more of fighting type moves in the future on uh, Crispy Bacon, because oh, I always keep... Well, not always. In, in Nuzlocke's or when I'm streaming, uh, I always keep the starter. Plus, this way we could be around here and, you know, if we happen to run into a shiny, great. Doesn't seem like that's going to happen anytime soon, but, you know. Who would I get rid of if I got a shiny? I probably would put that on the team. Uh... That would be determined next time, because I'm doing a lot of, like, grinding in this episode, so... In this stream, so I... I pretty much just want to... Have Thrall come out. Also, I'm thinking I may restart my uh, Infinite Fusions game, and I might just do a randomizer for that. There we go. The reason why I'm thinking of, an, of a randomizer for infinite fusions is there is, you know, you could just go through the game and be like, just going through it normally, doing the average stuff. Um, but I feel like a randomizer would make it so that I have a more varied team and just, it would be a little bit more chaotic. Or, option two, I could nuzlocke it. Nuzlocke can actually be pretty interesting in um, that. The other stuff that I was thinking of that I could do for it would be um, once available, I could only use, say, like, uh, 
Pokemon that are in combination with... Uh, Shinx, uh, like the Shinx line, or Pokemon that are only in combination with, um, Ditto, or Pokemon that are only in combination with Ralt, well, the Ralts line, or something like that. That's the other thing I was thinking of. Or I could do something where all of the Pokemon... Once I have access to Eevee, which I think I actually I could get pretty early on, uh, everything has to be a combination of an Eevee Lucian. Actually, I kind of like that. The Eevee Lucian combination run. Oh, that would be pretty cool, actually. My entire team is only Eevee Lucians, but they're eh, in combination with other Pokemon. Ooh. I think of some fun things with that. Yeah, I think that'll be my idea for that. I'll restart my Infinite Fusions playthrough and we're only going to be using uh, Eeveelutions. Which will be uh, pretty interesting at first. Especially because... Um, everything will then just be a combination of Eevee. Would be my starter. I'm thinking uh, if I did that, I would have Charmander be my starter. And then I would do like Eevee Charmander, and then by the end, maybe have a, uh, a Vaporeon Charizard. That would be pretty cool. And it would get rid of a lot of the, um... I do have to update that game. I have not updated it in a long time. Why? Thraws were not this rare the last time I was going around, I thought. Okay, at the 2 hour 30 minute mark, I'll, I'll switch off to back to training and then uh, we can battle Bianca once uh, French Fry is, I'm going to say, level 24. God. Those were not this rare the last time I was training. I ran into so many more. Better it just felt like more. God, if I wasn't doing a Nuzlocke, this is one hundred percent something I would do off stream. <clears throat> I'm not speedrunning this Nuzlocke, so, you know. I'm not really a speedrunner type person, for anyone wondering. I like doing these challenges, you know, making it so that the game is maybe a bit harder or whatever. But I'm not really a speedrunner person. I like to just go through my game as is. At my own pace. Rather than speedrunning and then... I'm, like, speeding through a game. Whenever I'm, like, skipping the dialogue and whatnot, it's not that I'm skipping it because... Um... Of any other reason than... Generally, Pokemon dialogue is boring, and... Once you get the basic gist of it, uh... You, you know what's going on. It is less boring in this game, though, than some other ones. 
I don't skip it in X and Y because I'm trying to see if there's any um, dialogue hints that were left in towards the whole alien theory. Uh, probably won't skip in uh, Infinite Fusions or a lot of other um, fan games or if um, they come out with another game on the Switch or whatever and I actually get a capture card. I probably won't skip it then. Simply because it would be a new game. Uh, if I was ever, ever doing anything with Sword and Shield, I would skip so hard. Please? Nope. Uh, it is incredibly hard to get this item. I do really want it, though. There's also later on, uh, Thraws can get, uh, another item. It's only later on because there is no, uh, dark grass on this route. At least I don't think there is. Oh, there is dark grass on this route. I'm going to be running through in this. This is way better. So in the dark grass, Thraws can have... Um, I think it's... Uh, I forget what the name of the belt is. Not the Focus Sash. It's um, the one that allows for... Uh, Super effective hits to hit harder. Which will be great later on. Yes. Okay, another thrall. Fight, thief, thrall, fight. Uh, tackle, temple. Okay, this one doesn't have it. Uh, yeah, I'll use an orange berry on you. Closer to full health he is, the better. Oh, please. Please have it. So the one belt that I'm looking for, uh, he has, I think, like a 5% chance of having it. And the other belt that I'm looking for, he only has a 1% chance. As soon as I get one of the belts, that's all I need. I don't need to get both of the belts. So don't worry, we're not going to be here forever, me just looking for both belts. Whichever belt I get, that'll be good enough. Plus, I don't know if I can catch any Pokemon in this game that can that uh, the super effective belt will be really great for. I know that um, Embor does have a lot of type coverage, but I don't know if that, that belt will be incredibly useful for him. Like, that belt, in my opinion, is a perfect belt for Pokemon like Golurk, Ranbull, um... 
Pyrantrum and whatnot that have all the punching moves or all the bite, all the fang moves and bite and whatnot. <clears throat> that, you know, Pokemon like that where it's like, okay, well, immediately you have a lot of type coverage. Uh, especially, I think it's good for, uh, go. Ooh, okay. Uh, I don't like the look of this, but that's fine. It's especially good for Pokemon that are, um,. A bag, HP, hyper, use on French fry. And you were going to switch for pizza. No! Okay. Okay. We're getting out of here. Wait. Did not use the hyper potions? We're gonna look for one more throw and then I'm gonna be good here, cause uh Yeah, I think I'm gonna go back to my original plan of I'll just come back here later. Hey. Be the last thrall we get because yep i'm past the two hours and 30 minute mark that i said that i would stop at one more one more one more come on guys you know it's going to be the next one as soon as i stop it's going to be the next one oh my god that was with lowered attack i just realized that he almost Got rid of two of my Pokemon. running around so much. I am surprised I have not run into a single shiny. Even one that I couldn't catch, you know what I mean? Hey. Draw. Okay. Get out of here. Hello, Timpole. Thank you. Alright, uh, we're going to just move on. I'm going to have... Uh... I'm have Jelly Bean. No. give him the amulet coin to hold and we're gonna head off to that battle because actually that might be the best way to level him up and as i said i think once um once jerky evolves i'll head back there at some point because that'll give me plenty of levels 
Plus, uh, if he evolves, he's going to have better defense. He's going to be able to, like, tank a lot of their hits. It'll just be better. Um... That's kind of why I'm just doing this now, where I'm just... Oh. Right, I gave him the amulet coin. I was like, wait, isn't a pickup anymore? Okay. Hi. You remember the promise you made on the X transceiver, right? Let's get right to our Pokemon, but before that... I said we're gonna have a Pokemon battle if in the gate as long as we're careful not to break the electro electric bulletin board. I'm the new and improved version of me. It's gonna go- it's gonna go great this time. Let's start up our Pokemon battle again. Alright. Herdier. Okay, I have a stronger Herdier. Hmm. Okay, well now they're about the same. I think mine's faster? Yes. Uh... Okay. Ah. Uh, we're, we're gonna switch. Oh, shiznit. You are my Pokemon to deal with, Muna. Bag. This last item, yes. Come on! Use Meatball. Servine. Uh, yeah. Just be bacon? Oh, well, I am five levels ahead. Okay, so that might be. Pan pour. Uh. I kinda have nothing for you. Uh, I'll switch you in and then I'll switch to Thrall. That's going to be my plan here. On pizza. I just want to get french fry some uh, XP. That was a crit? Okay, pizza. You're you're proving more and more every day why uh you get to have a place on the team. God, Pizza is a tank. I think he's the safest Pokemon that I have to switch into. Oh, that might mean that he gets a permanent place on the team. Oh.
Okay, so here's the thing. I always hate um, Hop's whole thing because it's like, you go through all this stuff and you basically get to to near the end of the game and then he realize then he's like, well you get to like the the was the third gym, which would be here. And then like he gets like depressed or depressed or whatever, uh about like not being able to beat Bebe or whatever the whatever that guy's name is, um, Beedy. Whatever. Uh, and it's like, okay. But then the next time you talk to me, he's like, it's okay. I've decided I still want to be a trainer. And like, he goes through all this here. They, they're having this realization a long time earlier. And I like how they're like, you know, it's fine. A lot of stuff has happened to me, but I'm learning what I want to do in life and seeing and like it's kind of like already they're kind of like I don't think it's going to be a trainer because you and Sharon are so much stronger already and also I don't think that Bianca is going through the gym challenge like I think she I don't think that she's going and getting the badges I think she's just kind of traveling around so I think with that, that's so much better because it's like a quick realization and then like the rest of this is going to be her doing other stuff. Really hard and I felt really unsure. Still, I gotta say, I'm really glad I went. I've learned so much on this journey and I also learned that being with Pokemon is really, really important. Okay, well, I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye, Pineapple. Wait, I'm going back because I don't know if Charon wants to battle. If he does, I, I need to heal up my Pokemon. Oh, also I could go train on that route. I might actually now get my Pokemon up to level 25. Uh, Herdier, I might also give the Evio Light for a little bit. Uh... I think the mega store is in the next city up. Cause yeah. How much money do I have actually? Uh, thirty-eight thousand. Okay, not bad. Oh, wait, that one place. I could go to that one place again. I forgot about those trainers. I never finished that. I could do switch training there. And her to your sh uh, And I can get money. Uh, yeah, I fought you. I fought you. It's you I haven't fought. All right. Used to dire hit, then never used an attack. That works for me. Your defense and special defense are not going up greatly. Maybe I left him as a little pup for too long. Okay, that didn't do like anything. That's that's wonderful. Stop it. I'm gonna go uh, heal my Pokemon, because if I do have to fight the... Um 
the CEO, the head of the company, the boss, whatever. Um, I want a healed up team. I mean, you'd also think that after getting all the way through this, they'd give you something. Okay. Rubbish. Okay. Don't poison. I am gonna switch French Fry out at this point. That's been too many... Uh, switch. Yeah, actually that's perfect. Pizza can take out Mincino. Especially because there's no fairy type moves yet. Wow. I disguise myself as a uh, janitor because I like to know what kinds of trainers come here. I had a good time battling you. This is a token of my esteem. Please accept it. I could have just finished this area and he would have given... Oh, okay. Wonderful. Wonderful. Okay. Okay. Any of you out there who already knew that, mm, you keep your little typing fingers to yourself. I don't need to be here and be told. that I could have had an easier time training if I just finished that area. I don't need your sass. Did I heal up my Pokemon? No, but... That's eh, fine. We can do this. I am going to get to the next town before the end of the stream. I know that we're coming up on the three-hour mark, but uh, I actually don't have anywhere to be today. I might, I might stop the stream and say an hour. Or so. And the reason for that will be less of like, oh, I got to go somewhere and more of I should eat in an hour. Uh, just getting up French Fry one more level. Also, I think... I think Sandile, the re one of the reasons why I yelled no earlier when I thought Jerky was going to be taken out is because I am pretty sure Jerky is one of the only Pokemon that I can get that can learn Thief. Okay, I'm going to go heal after this. I think he's one of the only Pokemon I can get that can learn Thief. And, uh... I'm gonna need that in order to get certain items. Also, that would be really useful for the, uh, the Elite Four. Because I think some of them have items.
Did you say critical hit on that? Okay. I guess french fry is getting slowly better and better. I still would not put it up against a Pokemon that is the same level. Wait, with Sand Rush, does Herdier not get buffed by the Sandstorm? Hold on, I'm gonna lower... If that's the key. Uh, tackle. Never mind. Next battle, I'll check that. Hurtier, please. French fry, I'm trying to test something. Okay, I'm gonna use a different attack. There we go. It does! Oh, that actually makes this really useful of an ability. I thought he would still get buffed by the sandstorm. Okay, well then, I think that, yeah, evolving him now, when we're... Yes, forget. Uh, let's see. Crunch is 80. That's like double bite, right? Not double. I get rid of the flinch, though, and I don't like that. I always like to have the possibility to flinch. To cause others to flinch. Um, actually, I might get rid of Takedown. Takedown's a powerful move, but it's... I, I would lose... 10 power. But I would gain 15 accuracy. And I wouldn't have the chance to hurt myself, so I think I'm going to get rid of Takedown. Takedown's definitely a move that I keep on Pokemon that, uh, if they have the ability where they can't get, um, what is it? If they can't get the, um, uh, the recoil, then I'll leave it on them, but otherwise I, I almost always take it off. Plus, this allows Herdier to, hurt, uh, to hit more like a brick. I think actually my Pokemon are of good level for me to fight Charon. If that is what he wants to do. If not, then I've just leveled for no reason. Uh, okay, yeah, he does want to. It's been going pretty well. Uh, I finally evolved Herdier. Well, I finally evolved French Fry into Herdier. Um, I think I actually have a pretty good team right now. Thank you for asking, though. Uh, from what I can d do, what? Uh, do I have anyone specifically for do what? No. But Jelly Bean might be good as like a cannon. Also, doesn't do what become a fighting type?
Oh, wait. Realize that. Oh, I'm getting you out of here. Okay. Yeah, I'm getting Jelly Bean out of here. That was a lot of damage for one attack. And I do not like that. That's a lot better. The, the reason why I... Uh, he shouldn't be heavy enough for Grass not to do anything. And Seer. Meatball. Oh, obviously, yes. I'm pretty sure if I want a Darmanitan, I have to go to the Desert Resort. Uh, otherwise, I have completely lost any chance of getting a Darmanitan. That should help. But yeah, no, obviously, I'm going to the Desert Resort. Uh, not going there would just be... I, I'm pretty much just letting a route go to waste. Especially one where I can actually get another Pokemon. Which I never want to do, because... Thank you, Crispy Bacon. Which I never want to do, because if I ever happen to lose a Pokemon, which I'm hoping I never do... Uh, I, I need the Pokemon that are in the PC. If I don't have anything in the PC, then uh, that would be it for the run. The reason you're so tough is the trust between... I don't think so. I think it's just because I overlevel. Or I'll do what in my other Pokemon too. Oh. I mean, I act... You know... I'm actually going to add that into... I was going to make uh, some shorts for YouTube about this run. And I, I'm actually going to include that. The first short that I, I'm currently working on is uh, my first attempt at this. In which I did not do well. Uh, but the second one that I'm going to be making is about how uh, crispy bacon is all that I needed. She's caught up in... Well, I suppose I'll just leave. I'll just have to call her again later. Um, the second short I was going to make is all about how all I needed to do is name my starter Crispy Bacon. Uh, okay, I'll be waiting for you two in front of the gate to Nimbasa City. Um, hello. Right down route four. Okay. What does this sign say? Useful. Some ruins have become a little tourist destination. Oh wait, I forgot to heal my Pokémon! French fry, we getting out of here. After I get this item, because I'm a little greedy. But now, French fry, we're getting out of here. I do the speed up just so that I can, uh, so that we can get through a lot more. 
the speed up ever bothers people, just let me know. I'll stop doing it. Okay, let's see. Who's up front? Uh, French fry. French fry does need. French fry is going to be really good here, actually. His. Generally, French fry's stats are not amazing. They could be better, and I really wish he didn't have the lowered special attack. I mean, lowered special defense, and he had a higher. He had lowered special attack and hired something else. Uh, which also, you can't switch in this game, so, you know. You can switch it as of... I think you could in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon as well, but it was harder to do. But I know that you can do it in um, Sword and Shield and Scarlet and Violet. I wish I could do it here. But with the Sandstream... Is Sand Rush, so that should help with this. And his attack stat isn't that bad, so. I could have him out front. I'll keep him out front for now. I gotta look at what the level of the... Hey, uh, as long as you're here, would you be able to tell me what is the highest level of the Pokemon for the next gym? That way I don't see what the Pokemon are, but I know what I gotta uh, work towards. Now. I think it would be Gym 4? Because I just did the Bug Gym. No, that just lowers speed. Okay, that's that's fine. Seems like it's already faster than me. That's less fine. It's even less fine. That's okay. I try, please. Before it gets itself back up to full health. Thank you, French Fry. sort all my items. Oh. Can't sort that bad that bag. Okay. Paralyze heal. Use. Run try. Oh. Looked off the screen then.
Oh. Hmm. So for now, I might not get to the end of the desert resort. This isn't that where Volcarona is. <clears throat> also, I think Volcarona is like level 60 or something. So I wouldn't be able to catch it. But, um... The guy who made the rules for the Chonk Lock... I think I should ask him if Volcarona counts. Which... So, here's the thing. In this game, I loved how... Like, I always thought Volcarona was a, uh, like a legendary or a mythic or something because of this game. Because uh, you can only get one. It is just in that ancient temple, and that is it. But then... In, like, later games, they're like, ah, nah, there's a bunch of them everywhere. So, you know what? Same with Zorua in this game. Zorua was kind of the same way. Oh, and then Rotom is another one. They did that to a few Pokemon where they made them like, oh my god, it's so rare, you can only get one. Except for Spiritomb. Spiritomb is the only Pokemon where they've been like, now we're going to consistently make it that, like, you can get a bunch, but they're incredibly rare. Okay, what are these? Um, I guess nothing. Blitzel. I probably won't be able to take it. Okay, or I'm incredibly fast. <clears throat> Didn't expect that a front try. I'm gonna take this out because front try only has like the littlest amount of XP left till he gets up a level. So yeah. Freeway, I feel it's... Oh, okay. What does this sign say? Okay, thank you. I would have hoped I figured that out by now. I think down that road is the Pokemon Resort, so I'm gonna go heal my Pokemon, and then we can go do that. Because as I said, I'm pretty sure that's the... That's the only other route where I can get a Darmanitan. Uh, or a Darumaka. So. I'm gonna go there qu quickly. Rock Tomb is a good one, but... I don't know how far into there that is. So I might want to get my Pokemon up to, like, level 30 before I go in there. Uh, also, item... take... yep. Uh... Nope. Give. French Fry... French Fry has been... So, I am glad that uh, I did what I did, because I got a lot of items out of him, which has been great and useful. Uh, it's allowed me to save up a lot of uh, Pokebox, I guess, is the term for this game. Hi. How are you? Um, it's, it's allowed me to save up a lot of Pokebox for this game. And... Now that he's evolved... Fantastic. He is actually pretty great of Pokemon. This is gonna hit five times. Oh, okay. Thirty. 
Got it. Uh, yeah, I'll switch to Jelly Bean. There we go, I get everyone some experience. Actually, you know what? While this is going, and it seems like the other guy is not here anymore. Uh, boop. Let's see. Black and white gem. I'm gonna try not to look at the Pokemon. Okay, yeah, so I should get my Pokemon up to level, like, 30 before I fight this gem. No, this is... Okay. Someone tell me if I'm wrong, but... I'm looking at the levels of each of the gyms, and they're, like, bare... Like, I used to think, like, maybe they go up by, like, 5 or 10 or something, but they're, like... Barely going up by five in this game. So, the first gym actually had the greatest leap from uh, level 14 to level 20 was the first gym to the second gym. But the second gym to the third gym is just 20 to 23. Not really a huge leap. And then after that, it's 23 to 27, and most of their Pokemon are 25. So or level leap, but you would probably already be level 25 in order to do that gym, in my opinion. Then the next gym, it goes from level 27 to 31, which again is only four levels, but to battle a gym that I would know is level 27, I'd probably get up to level 30 at least. For a Nuzlocke. And then for the 31 gym, I might not do much training for that one. Uh, that's also... Ooh, it's a ground-type gym. That I might have some problems with. Um, but after that, it only goes from 31 to 35. Uh, I don't know. There's something about the levels for this one, like... It, it might be that's actually how they normally are. That's true. And oh, okay, so they were testing the EXP system. Okay. That makes more sense then for this. <clears throat> As I said, I might do this challenge again after I finish Black and White in uh, Black and White 2. Just to see how much either easier or harder it is. Or, because I, I think in Black and White 2, there's also a much larger pool of Pokemon I can pull from. So... Right, but I'm a dig pro. I'll give you this TM. Ooh, dig! Uh, there is no change in uh, location for inner pinwheel forest and outer pinwheel forest. They're both just pinwheel forest, so it's not a different route. At least that's how I do Nuzlocke's. Yeah, so since it's technically the same route, um, I got uh, pizza in the outer pinwheel forest, and then that was kind of, that's all I could get. Uh, I don't like that either. I don't like that they weren't named differently either, because there is a loading screen between them. But it's technically the same route. Uh, 
Oh, anything in this trash can? There are some people that do, uh, every loading screen is a different route, so, like, between Pinwheel Forest and Inner Pinwheel. Alright. I mean, if people want, I could go back there and get something. I mean, I, if people want that to be the rule, I could also do that next time. I guess now it would be a bit too late. Uh, cause... If you guys want me to, I can. I accidentally got into that. You can get Venipede later on. Uh, there's one more route that you can get him on. Hold up, I have a... thing on here that actually has it. Uh, do 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 In Lost Lorn Forest, you can get a Venipede as well. I don't know where that is. I'll look at my map once, uh... I think that's actually, like, right after the next gym. Uh, actually, I could keep pizza in here. No. Uh, okay, let me check the map after this. Where is Lost Lorn Forest? Is this Lost Lorn? Cold Storage, Ralton, Charge Stone. Okay. Yeah, I think... I think I can get there, like, right after I go up to uh, Nimbasa City. Let me double check that. Uh, Nova, and let me check for L. Plus Sun Forest. What are the level of Pokemon here? Yeah! Uh, Lost Sun Forest, small forest location. Unless I'm wrong, is it like Lost Lorn Forest locked off for some reason? It looks like it should just. Um, there's a person at the end of the Lost Lorn Forest that has scary Pokemon. But uh, otherwise, it. Looks like it. be available. Uh, I get to have. Okay, let me... Oh, uh, what can I get in Lost Lorn Forest? I could get a Panseer in Lost Lorn Forest, okay. Alright, if you guys want, I'll go back. And I'll accept the, um... Alright. Uh, if that's what... You guys say the rules are, I'll go back and I'll ex He is. I actually do like um Aramaka, I don't I'm not gonna catch you. But also, be warned, I'm going to go down there and I'm going to try to get a, uh, a Venipede, but there is a chance, however small, that I will run into a Panseer instead. Oh. 
Oh, that pan... You can run into Panpour and whatnot down there. Pretty sure, anyway. Ah. So if I accidentally run into a Shaking Grass, I could get Pans here. Which I will attempt not to, but I did that when I was trying to leave Route 3 open, so... We'll see about that. <laughs> uh, Pokemon. Be best for catching something here. Probably pizza. I'll keep pizza out. I'm sorry, Seawaddle. I like your evolutions, but you're a skinny boy. There we go. Venipede. Okay, I mean, if you guys are saying, then I'll count this. Uh... What do you want me to name the Venipede? Usually, uh, I get names from just whatever food I had that day or whatever. Uh, I have not really had anything to eat yet today. <laughs> I woke up late, and then, uh, I was scrambling to make sure everything was ready for the stream, and, uh, I had pizza-flavored potato chips, but we've already used pizza, so... I can't name him that. That was an incredibly unhealthy... breakfast. Open menu? <laughs> How about dollar menu? I actually kind of like dollar menu. Ah. <laughs> uh. That fit? Dollar menu barely fits. <sighs> That's true. How about buffet? Eh, uh, but buffets aren't always that fancy. Ah, I could work. I am going to keep Dollar Menu for some other Pokemon, though. I like Bug Fae. Oh, but who would I get rid of for Bug Fay? And I would have to do a lot of training for it. You know, I might um, hold off on training Bug Fay till uh, next stream. Because, like, uh, who on my team would I get rid of for Bug Fay? I have a pretty good chunky team. And Jellybean has its uses. 
French fry has its uses, jerky has his uses, and once he's fully evolved, that is, that is a great Pokemon. I actually might not put Bugfay on the team. I do love uh, Scorelopede. I think that's its name. But did you know that Bug is factually the weakest typing? No matter how chonky he is. Let's actually check him out. It's more of a... because... Uh, bug Poison. Poison's kind of good. Poison Point, Pursuit, Screech, Poison Sting, Protect. Uh, let's check your stats. Hmm. Well, I... I, I, I think that like, there's actually a thing. No, I mean, like, I think there's actually a thing that says Bug is the weakest typing because it is super effective against only three types, and it doesn't really resist much, is what I'm remembering. Um, it has a lot, it has quite a few weaknesses. Uh, and yeah. Yeah, no, I agree. Ice ice sucks. I almost never have an ice type on my team. The only reason I ever, ever have an ice type on my team is if I know for a fact I will need ice type moves. Like if I know later on there's going to be an incredibly hard trainer with a bunch of dragon types or a bunch of um, flying types, then I'll have an ice type on my team. But otherwise... I, I never use ice types. Also, I agree. Ice type... Ice type sucks. They usually are glass cannons without any speed as well. Like, they're, they're a bad type. Uh, but I guess they're not seen as the worst because they have their uses with flying and dragon types. So I guess that's why. Um, all right, I, I will debate on if I'm going to even put Venipede on my team. That it does, but I don't really need coverage for those because Jerky is a dark type. And then I've got Crispy Bacon and Pizza that are both fighting. Unless Alakazam knows uh, Fire Punch or Flamethrower. I think he can learn Flamethrower. Is Fire Punch the only Fire type move that it can learn? I'm forgetting to heal my Pokemon. Uh, except in earlier games where Fire Punch was a special attack. For some reason. <laughs> I'm gonna punch you with my mind. But yeah, I think uh, until Gen 3, I want to say, uh, Fire Punch was a special attack. So. To level 24. Uh, I do want to get Jerky up, because if once Jerky hits level 29, he evolves. 
And Jelly Bean, I think I want to keep you until... I'm going to double check that, but I think I want to keep Jelly Bean um, at its current level until like 32, I, I think. Let me see. Until 44, got it. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh wait, wait, no, that's the newest gen. Oopsie. Okay, let me let me go back to gen five. Forty one. I wanna keep Muna as Muna until level forty one. The reason is because uh once Muna evolves in this gen at least, it stops learning any moves. And at 41, it learns Dream Eater. And I'm going to base them completely around uh, putting the enemy Pokemon to sleep and then just damaging them that way. Oh, yeah. I, I probably, after I do this, I am planning on doing a Black and White 2 run for the Chonk Lock. Because I, I really do want to see... How different is this game, like, how much more difficult is this game compared to that game? Um... Are you a trainer? Oh. Desert Resort, okay. Uh, why is that? It, does Sincino get, like, a bunch of other moves in Black and White 2? I know that in Black and White 2... Uh, whoopsie, I pressed the wrong button. Uh, I know that in Black and White 2, Thraw is so much more useful, because in Black and White 2, Thraw can learn the elemental punches, but in Black and White 1, he can't. Okay, let's get a Darumaka here. I really, really hope it has its hidden ability. Because then I think it would be the second Psychic type that I can get. Please. Nope, you're not what I want. Also, wow, they are, uh, they have strong Pokemon here. Ooh, there's these things called hidden grottos. Okay. I know about those. Darumaka. Level 20 Darumaka, too. Ooh. Oh, and is it like Sincino is one of the only ones that can like get into those? That is... Ooh. Ooh. What are we naming this boy? This girl, by the way. That is an amazing Sensino. What abilities can it get in the game? 
Also, I kind of would like it to be pink. I think that would be cute. Yo! Okay, yeah, no, in that case, yeah, it would be a must on the team. And I could evolve it! I, I could make double slap not make any sense! I like chili. Come on, chili. And I'm going to check up on chili after this, and we're going to see if it actually is worth uh, putting on the team. That is true. Chili of... Do we have one L or two? Okay, it has one L. Got it. I'm never entirely sure. Oh no no, I I, I know that tail slap would be uh stronger. I just if I get it at I don't know what level I would get it at, but I I think it, yeah, it can't learn Tail Slap till 25, so if it had Double Slap, uh, before then, just make it so the Double Slap makes no sl um, yeah, Double Slap then makes no sense, because, uh, captivate, cool. I have to look at it, if it can learn a lot of multi-hit attacks with what you said ooh, uh yeah he gets a lot of moves wait hmm hold up Only it's evolved form. Hold on, I'm checking stuff. Ah, uh, okay. So in order to give it Bullet Seed and Rock Blast and Black and White Two, I have to evolve it to. Oh no, Sincino. Okay, yeah, you said that. Never mind. I was thinking of uh, Mincino. My bad. Okay. All right, I'm going to head back just so that we can check up on what the I'm going to I'm going to No, cuz there's still so much more of the route left to go. I want to see what the Darumaka that I caught has. If it has the hidden ability, I might use it because I've never had a Darumaka with their hidden ability. Which is a pretty good one. The changing forms. No, uh, it has a hidden ability that lets it, uh, that when it evolves, it lets it change forms. This one has hustle, though. Uh, let me see. Do they? Other hidden abilities, you can just find them out in the wild.
Hold up. Do, 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 do. Actually, how it is. Yeah, Pokemon. Oh, I guess so. Hmm. Well, then. I am not someone who claims to know everything about Pokemon. I would like a Darumaka then in uh, in black and white too that has its hidden ability when I do that. I didn't even heal my Pokemon, did I? Nope. Oh well, too late now. No. I thought you could just catch Pokemon that had hidden abilities. I didn't know it had to be in certain events. I thought it was kind of just like, uh, you have like a 0.1% chance or something. What? Oh. Yeah, certain knowledge you don't need. Oh. Well, that actually works for me. I know, I just, I've never had one that, uh, that's had their hidden ability, so. Just something I would have liked to have for once. Uh, pizza and jelly bean? Yeah, that works. Rock t nope, not down there. Wait, so... Just as a general question, is this... Is this then also counted as a different route? Huh. Hold on, let me look at Desert Resort real quick. I don't think there's anything else I can catch here, so I, I think it doesn't matter if it is a different route or not, but... Uh... Desert Resort. <sighs> nah, there, there's nothing else I can catch here. Because I'm not counting Dwebble, personally. Uh, the reason I'm not counting Dwebble is it's not really itself. Uh... Well, I already have. Um... I already have that. I just caught one. Well, caught a, uh, a, um... Uh, the previous version. Whatever. Yeah. Uh, I'm not counting Dwebble because Dwebble isn't really a chonker. He just has a heavy rock on his back. Uh, 
I am unsure. I don't know if Cofagarius counts, because is Cofagarius really the coffin, or is it the ghost inside the coffin? This thing doesn't count. I never want one of these. Oh god, these things are horrifying and weird. What even is this? Okay, uh, I won't go. Then I won't go into the ruins for now because I'm gonna wait for um, the guy who's a, who's like decide the rules on this to be in the chat so that I can decide properly. Okay. Alright. Storm throw? What is storm throw? You just strikes the target with a fierce blow. This attack always results in a critical hit, so it's always an 80. Right? Because, um... In this game, the crits are double the attack. Would make it my strongest move. I only have Grass Knot here for heavier Pokemon that are weak to Grass. They don't really have much for that. Also, that would actually the Grass Knot's actually great for a later gym that is all ground types. Oh, I think I'm gonna get rid of Seismic Toss for that. Seismic Toss is good, especially for catching Pokemon that are lower level. But, uh, I think Storm Throw will be better. Yeah. Uh, jerk. Just getting everyone up to level 25. Oh, it's Stardust. More money. You said it's like way over to the left, right? Not here. No. You're gonna block off the path. Hey, Jaden. You do animations. Yeah. I figured that would be the case. Also, the Pokemon here are actually kind of strong for the trainers, so I might not want to... Might not want to stay here very long. Less people I have to fight, the better. Blitzel? Blitzel? That's not good for my team. Um... I think pizza's gonna be the best one here. Oh, 
Oh, wait. I was getting Bweasel and Blitzel mixed up. I am... I'm stupid. Excuse me for that. I can't believe I got Bweasel and Blitzel mixed up. Oh well, let's try out Storm Throw. <laughs> yeah, that is a good move. What? It's Bwizzle. It's horrifying. It's a water electric type. Oh, you know what? Oh, that would be horrifying. It's so it's a it's a Blitzel. That's kind of like you know what a, a hippocampus is. The top half of a horse and then the bottom half of like a mermaid. One of those, except it has Blitzel's horn that's always emitting electricity. So there's just a field around it of where everything is dying because it's all getting electrocuted. No one goes near it. It's horrifying. That's why it's remained a mystery. Okay. Let's find the other entrance and try to stay away from all the trainers. Hey, buddy. Oh, sweet. What else is down here? Nothing, but there is something over there. Oh, a Firestone. I already have one of those. And, uh, there's only one Pokemon I can catch that I would even be able to use it on. Nothing there. Okay. Wait, I just realized, do hidden grottos count as a different route in the other game? Like, does each hidden grotto count as a different route in and of itself? Gotta get these two up. Oh, I thought you'd just heal my Pokemon. Oh, Solosis. Okay. That's not bad. I got jerky. I should have taught. Yeah, whatever. That's nice, but. Thank you. Oh, what time is it? I don't have to go anywhere, but I am starting to get hungry, because as I said, my breakfast was... Pizza-flavored potato chips. Which, I gotta say, probably one of my two favorite flavors of uh, snacks. I also love cuttlefish snacks. So... 
style. Take with that what you will. Uh, let's get to the next city, and then I think I'm gonna end the stream there. Yeah, and then uh, next time I play, we're gonna have to do some grinding. Oh wait, uh, Pokemon. French Fry, what moves do you have? Do I want to get rid of any of your moves? I could get rid of Tackle, uh, but Tackle's your only stab move. I guess I could get rid of Bite. I like the ability to flinch, but I guess having a Ground-type move would also be good. <laughs> I actually like that. I think that would be a perfect Pokedex entry. Uh, let's see. Jerky, do you have, like, any, like, good... Do you have... I'm gonna get rid of Mudslap on everyone else. No, Meatball still has Mudslap. Okay, I could get rid of Mudslap on you. I... You know, I wonder if in Pokemon Fusions is Blitzel and Buizel? I think Buizel... No, Buizel's not in there. I don't know about Blitzel. Okay. Oh, uh. Did I get rid of Mud Slap or. S I'm gonna get rid of Mud Slap on, uh, Jerky then. Because Dig is a good ability. Uh, where's Dig? There's Dig. Yeah, 80 attack. That's pretty good. I think the only thing I'm going to get rid of Dig for is probably, um... Wait, Pizza can learn Dig? <laughs> okay. Uh... I think I'm gonna get rid of it on pizza. I don't think I'm gonna get rid of anything on pizza for that, because his current moveset is not half bad. Could it be better? Yes, obviously. But... Yeah. Yeah, let's get up to the next city, and then, uh... Hi. And I actually might go to the, um... I'm probably gonna go to that Pokemart and get the... and get Return. Now. As Jerky's been leveling up, he's been getting better and better. When I first got him, he was kind of a mushy boy, but now... Hello, Pineapple. Come here. Don't tell me what to do. 
Elsa called and was asking all, me all about electric type Pokemon, and I thought about you guys. Why? And <laughs> neither of us have electric types. That's why I wanted to see you. Ta-da! Freebies for you! Here, Charon. You too, Pineapple. Oh, nice. If you see a Pokemon that you want to have join you, be sure to use a good type of Pokeball. Because this could be the first and last time you see that Pokemon. I know it might seem strange for me to say this, since I am the one who asked you to complete the Pokedex. Please, remember to enjoy your journey. I will. Do you see the names of my Pokemon? I am enjoying this. To its fullest. Of course, I'm not saying you can just neglect the Pokedex. But you know that. Now, if you'll please excuse me, I have to go meet Bianca. Okay. Seems the professor gave us the Pokedex as a reason to send us on our on a journey. At least that's what my mom told me. It wanted us to go out and see the world, so my mom, Bianca's mom, and your mom made a request to Professor Juniper. Wow! Our mom saw us as shut-ins that would never go anywhere, so they had to trick us into leaving town. I mean, honestly, my character probably is a shut-in. He's, as he's naming his Pokemon and going through this, all he's thinking about is food. He, I'm guessing he gets DoorDash a lot. We do now. I think I'd like to show the professor my thanks by going to Route 4 and catching some Pokemon I haven't caught yet. Have fun. Through the electric bulletin board to see what's happening in Numbasa City. Okay. Uh, hmm. Hi. What is going on? I'm glad. Gramps, we know you run the daycare. How do we know? Because you're because we're Team Plasma. I've already passed the daycare. You're taking Pokemon away from people. Since you work at the daycare, we figured you must have a lot of Pokemon. Hand them over. What kind of nonsense is this? Yeah, a strong-looking trainer. Please help me. All right, old man. Trying to get in our way. If you try to take my Pokemon. I don't think they'll be very happy that you're gonna try to take them though. Watch off. And you are heavy. Yes, eh, whatever. Uh, I doubt you have anything on you, so I'm just going to switch over to pizza. Pizza hit the ground like a sack of... Ugh, like a bag of sand. Switch. Oh, wait, actually, I can actually leave jerky in for this one. Brown type versus a poison type. I love the little animations in this. They're actually pretty great. Egg. There we go. Oh no. <laughs> no, we can't just threaten everyone with the Bwizzles. 
as much fun as that is to threaten them all with them. I'm not fast, so I think we'd better run! Let's hide out at the amusement park! The, the Bwizzitals can't get us there! Little do they know, the Bwizzitals can get you anywhere. Oh. Thanks. <laughs> oh my god! I actually, oh, I want, I want someone to make, to like draw designs for those. Ugh, I do do some pixel art, art. I could uh, think about that. Park, big stadium, small court, and battle subway. Oh wait. Did you know that in this game, uh, the battle subway actually cheats at a certain point? Which is why we're never doing it. Yep. Ooh, what is in here? Eh, not terribly much. Return is good. Yes. What do you have? Nothing. Oh, I know, right? All subways are supposed to have sandwiches, especially the ones in New York. Just every time you go there, walk up to someone random and ask them for a sandwich. As someone who grew up in the New York area and went to New York so many times growing up, trust me, it's a very smart thing to do. You know what, that actually might be something that I do at a certain point. I might just combine... I don't know what this is and I don't want to know what that is right now. Uh, so we made it to the city. I am starving. So I'm gonna end the stream here. Uh, I don't have anything else I have to do today. It's literally just I'm hungry and I want to go get food. Because uh, I haven't eaten yet. Thank you. I will. But anyway, uh, thanks for being here. Thank you also for helping me with the the Bwizzle and Float Striker. I I am I think I will make those. I will make those at some point. Um, those will be horrifying. Uh, but thanks for being here. Thanks for chatting with me. I really also appreciate whenever you come in here and give me, like, information on stuff. Especially if I'm just, like, dead wrong or something about something in this game. Because I admit I'm, I'm, I'm good at the battles and whatnot, but not every move and every uh, function of the game I am 100% on. Thank you for that. And I hope that you have a great evening. Lovely evening. That's my outro. Okay, bye. Uh, and then uh, for YouTube, uh, if you like this video, then please like, comment, subscribe. If you didn't, leave a comment anyway. Let me know why, uh, so that I can better improve myself. If you have any uh, anything that you want to say on like if this. 
it, on this or that for um if uh you don't like what i'm doing if i should go back to a route and get a pokemon because you're like hey this counts or hey this doesn't count um i can move around what counts as what uh especially with the venipede there if the majority of you guys say that it doesn't count um i just won't use it but yeah so let me know and uh thanks for watching i hope you all have a lovely evening Bye.